Hello BookTube! Well, it has been a long while, hasn't it? I've tried making BookTube videos in the last week, now and then, when a moment opens up, and they have not been anything I wanted to finish or upload. They have been distracted, angry, resentful, uh, for understandable reasons, I guess. Uh, those of you who maybe don't know what I'm talking about, for the last month I've had intensive home construction being done here at Hyde Cottage. Uh, air seal zippers across doorways, uh, tarps over everything, hammering and drilling and sawing and strangers coming and going at all hours of the day from just after dawn until well after sunset. So the only times that I've had to even try to make a video would have been dodged in between the worst of those elements. Uh, and the few times that I've tried to do that, I've found that the very necessity of dodging between elements in order to talk to my imaginary booktube friends in my own home was so irritating that it came through on video. And uh, you have enough agita in your life, as it is, without, without coming to this channel for more. Uh, I'm trying again today. Uh, it's, a, it's a Monday. It's a, it's a beautiful, warm day. Uh, maybe a little too hot to uh, to really take the little bean for long walks, but uh, it's not that her that her spirit isn't willing, it's that her flesh is weak. She overheats uh, faster than she believes. So it's maybe a little too hot for that, and I think it's going to get hotter. I think we're in for a fairly warm week, nothing like the rest of the country. 25 degrees cooler than the rest of the country, but still. Uh, it's... it's Beautiful outside. Our walks have not been super long, but they have been lovely, just winding our way at a walking pace around the neighborhoods or in local parks. Can't go to any 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 place far away in weather like this, but that has been delightful on its own. Uh, and today, in addition to it being high summer, but delightful, uh, I got what I thought was the first glimmer of hope that this home destruction might be ending, that might be coming to an end. I don't know how much to trust that glimmer of hope. I, I don't at the moment trust anything at all. Uh, but the mere prospect that it might be ending made me may want to try and make another video. I don't have any, any mail to open. I don't have any themes to do. I am completely behind. It is, this, this has just destroyed all of the commitments that I did, that I've made to BookTube, to Buddy Reads, to, to anything like that, it's just completely destroyed. I don't even know where any of those things still stand. Uh, I am looking right now at maybe having smooth sailing by August. Uh, it being mid-July. Maybe by August. Maybe even a little sooner than that. So it's possible that I can save my August BookTube events. Uh, but... I don't have any of those big thematic things in mind. I just wanted to make a quick video because I miss seeing your faces. And also to to give you an idea of what's been getting me through this home destruction, this this home apocalypse. Uh, it's three things that have been doing it. Of course, Frida is number one. She's over there. She's not visible because I don't have a normal setup. She's over on on my old World War I bed. Uh, we have been completely inseparable. Literally so. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. The last time I went anywhere was the last time I went to the Brattle. After that, the work has intensified to such a point that I am not, it is not safe to leave her. I think she would probably just exercise common sense and get out of everybody's way, hop up on the bed and just hang out there, but I can't be 100% sure. She's a very curious little dog and a bossy little dog. And you can't take a risk like that with power cords and open paint buckets and... Uh, whatnot, equipment everywhere, you can't, and also strangers in the place, let's leave not, not leave that out, strangers coming and going, who maybe don't care if they leave the door open, uh, or, uh, I couldn't leave her, uh, so we have been inseparable, every minute of every day, <laughs> we have been inseparable, and that has been delightful on its own, I have been saying about this little dog since day one, but she's remarkably good company. It's it's a little bit hard to explain. Uh, I know that a lot of uh, a lot of people would just reflexively say that all dogs are, but they aren't. Uh, some of them are just blank slates. Some of them are voids. They require work, even when they're docile and just just sitting there. 
And some of them don't keep up their end of the conversation, if you know what I mean. Frida is a wonderful company. Uh, always has been, uh, and has been this month completely. So she is the number one thing that has gotten me through this home apocalypse. Uh, the second thing that's got me through is this little book room. Uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, this is this is my uh, my little book room. Everybody should have one. Uh, a little space where you can close the door. Uh, and my little space, it's the smallest space in this place, and it is lined from floor to ceiling with books. And that's basically it. <clears throat> books and a bed. I've had to bring in a, a plastic hamper of foodstuffs because I didn't want to be dodging past strangers and saying excuse me and squeezing by uh, people to get at, you know, food during the day. So I had to bring in one of those. Uh, but other than that, it's all books. And not just any books. This little book room is where books go when they go to heaven. This, These are the books that I not only have and like, but love. These are the ones I love. These are the ones I can go back to over and over and over again. And in the last month, I have really, really been doing that. I had the foresight to grab a small stack of new releases, my stock and trade as a reviewer and an editor, and bring them in here before they were lost under layers and layers of tarps and behind tons and tons of ladders and equipment. I had the foresight to, to grab a small stack of those, and of course those are endlessly available as ebooks. Uh, and I haven't neglected them. As you'll know, if you've been watching Open Letters Review, I have written my share of book reviews, even despite all of this chaos. Uh, some, some reflexes just don't go away. And besides, you reach a point, I reach a point anywhere, where writing actually feels great. It isn't a labor anymore. It's an actual release valve. Um, so I've had those new releases, and I have them on the e-reader as well. But... Uh, I've been spending a lot of time with with the books that are in here, with the books that I love, all my old Cape Cod books, old collections of uh, Edmund Wilson criticism, Anno Dracula, the short stories of Frank O'Hara, the fr short stories of Frank O'Connor, uh, all of my Penguins, uh, Shark books, Jack the Ripper books, here at the New Yorker. Uh, it, just you name it. Well, you know you don't name it. It would be hard for you to name them. Although, if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you'd probably be able to guess a lot of what's in here. There, there wouldn't be many surprises. I have been going back to those things endlessly in this last month, and they have had exactly the effect that they are meant to have. <laughs> exactly the effect that they've always had. They are my oldest and dearest friends. And this room is basically my TARDIS. Uh, it, it is steady state. It is incredibly welcoming. Uh, nothing follows me in here. Woes don't follow me in here. Uh, the only woes that ever do that, the only woes that ever penetrate this room, are the ones I bring in myself when my dogs get old. Then tragedies can happen in the little book room. Uh, mishaps, accidents, worries, night terrors can happen in the little book room. But I think I'm a good 10, maybe even 15 years off from that with this little dog. So... There, this is proof against everything, and that is wonderful. That is a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Uh, and that's the second thing. And then the third thing uh, that's been getting me through uh, is going to sound really hokey, uh, but I'm going to say it anyway. It's you. You have been getting me through. You, my faithful Donna Huguenots, my imaginary booktube friends, have been getting me through. Uh, you realized fairly early on that this was a major disruption. And that was the reason I've had so many emails. I leave my email on every video. And for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, that is my email. That goes to my inbox. It's not junk email or anything like that. It's not something I check once a, once a week or once a year or whatever. I, I'm online all day long. Um, and I've had more emails than I can count from people saying, you know, hang in there, telling me your home construction nightmare stories. Also, all sorts of other things, too. Sending me pictures of your dogs sending me pictures of the books that you bought that day at your used bookstore, knowing that that would pick me up, knowing that I would like seeing that. Also, quite a few of you have done me the honor of asking me questions, seeking advice on everything from uh, uh, family relations to choices of college to uh, irritations with roommates. And several of you who don't know each other have simultaneously pointed out that the only reason you're asking me these questions when you know I'm going through 
a trauma of how of home reconstruction is because you know that I would like to help, that that would actually make me feel better if I could try to help. It's a little eerie when people you've never met face to face know you that well, but it's true, and it worked. Uh, I've been getting all of those emails. I've been getting all of those pictures. I've also been getting books. Once some of you realized what what was happening. Some of you have, have broken rule number one on this channel, which is don't send me a book, and have sent me books. Uh, I know your hearts were in the right place, <laughs> so I'm not I'm not taking this video to chastise you. Uh, but there were no bullseyes. Let's just put it that way. It's not a good idea to send me a book unless it's something you specifically know that I want. And the only way you're going to know that is if you ask me. Because, as you know, if you've watched this channel, under normal circumstances, when I'm free to leave my own home, I could say on a Monday that I don't have a book and wish I did. And that Tuesday, after you've put a copy of that book in the mail, I could find it at the Brattle, the Brattle Bookshop here in Boston. That happens a lot. So it's a bad idea. Unless I ask you to, it's a bad idea. But that hasn't been the only thing that I've been getting in the mail. <laughs> I've also been getting, if rule number one on this channel is don't send me a book, another rule on this channel is send me your old tech. All the tech that you have that's sitting around that you don't use anymore because you've upgraded, if it's still in working condition, I want it. Send it to me. I have a, a bottomless hunger for playing around with tech. Uh, and one of you actually sent me a piece of old tech. Uh, this. This is an iPad mini. Uh, a beautiful device. Just a, one of the great things that Apple has made. Uh, this is uh, an iPad mini 4. And the note that came with it, one of you said, uh, I'm sorry that you're going through home construction. And I remembered that you said that when construction started and the zippered wall started going up and the tarp started going everything, you lost your iPad mini. It's true. I had one of you a year ago sent me an original iPad mini, a first edition iPad mini, uh, which I thought was incredibly sweet. But it's a pretty weak machine. It, it really couldn't pick up Wi-Fi or do anything like that, unless it was directly on top of the modem. It, it had to be 30 feet, 40 feet closer to the modem than it ever was. So every once in a while, when I would want to upload something, when I would want to download something, or I would want to change it in some way, I would walk it over to the modem. That's not the kind of machine that you, you want to keep. I think I put a thousand books on that little iPad mini, and then who knows where it is. Uh, but one of you had an iPad mini. You upgraded to the new one, which is the iPad mini 6, uh, which by all accounts is a miraculous device, just incredible in terms of camera and storage and just screen refresh, everything. Just uh, just the, the processor on it is apparently miraculous. Uh, and as you mentioned in your note, I'm sure you're watching, uh, that meant you didn't need your iPad mini 4 anymore and would I want it, so you sent it to me. Uh, and uh, this is considerably better <laughs> than the iPad mini uh, that I had. Considerably better. First of all, it's strong enough so that it picks up Wi-Fi anywhere in Hyde Cottage, so it's a functional iPad. And it's it's only got 16 gigs of onboard storage, and of course with an iPad you can't change that. You can't, you can't increase storage unless you put things in the cloud, uh, which is crazy. <laughs> that, is, that is basically you saying this belongs to you now. Uh, and Chances are that in two or three or four years of using iCloud, you'll never actually be confronted with the reality of that. But if it is, you won't have a leg to stand on. It's in the agreement <laughs> that you sign, that you whisk away with a, by hitting click agree. Um, and Apple knows that, and this, that because they're brokering that information to third parties. They, they're, that's why they don't have storage increase on their machines. But 16 gigs is plenty of space uh, for me. I don't game on these things. I'm not going to film on this device. I don't. I'm not going to load Netflix or Amazon Video or anything like that onto this. I'm not. I think I could. I think I would have plenty of room. I think I still have four or five gigs of space left on this. Uh, but mainly, it's for everything else. It is what the uh, the tech channels refer to as a content consumption device. In this case, the content being books. I loaded 1,500 books onto my uh, Amazon Kindle app. Or actually, I didn't even have to do that. It, the Amazon Kindle app is the only one that seems to read across every device, so they all just load it on their own, even side-loaded content. Amazing. Uh, I loaded about 1,500 books onto my Nook app, 
and I loaded about 1500 books onto my iBooks app. Uh, now I know that I have an e-reader and I had again the foresight to to save my Kindle uh, Paperwhite, just the basic Kindle Paperwhite. I had the foresight to bring that into this room before the construction apocalypse started. Uh, but I've been going to this. Uh, it, it, this is the same experience, visually, tactilely, whatever, uh, in any in any uh, capacity that you want. It's the same experience that I had in the first ten years of that I did reading eBooks, which was I did on my iPad. This is the same experience as that. I don't appear to uh, to suffer from the kind of uh, retina burn that a lot of people have complained about reading on the iPad. A lot of people work on backlit screens all day long, and they complain of eye fatigue when they read on an iPad. They like the e-ink screen, and so do I, very much so. On my Kindle uh, Paperwhite, my Kindle Oasis, and on my Kobo, I love the e-reading experience, but this has the added benefit of just bottomless familiarity. And once all those books were on there, uh, they were a perfect complement to all of the old friends that are on these shelves. Uh, so this is a, a very generous thing that one of you did. It's a piece of old tech, and uh, it's the third thing that's been getting me through, is you. The comforting emails, the, the funny stuff, the jokes, the encouragement. All of you saying you will get through this. There, It seems like it's never going to end, but home construction does eventually end. Uh, I don't right now believe that, but uh, there are the tiniest faint glimmers of hope that it might be true. So uh, I don't know what this video can promise. Uh, I'm pretty sure that work is continuing all week long here, and I have no idea how well behaved it will be. If possible, I would like to make more than one video. I'd like to make actual booktube videos instead of just chatting with you. I'd like to make actual booktube videos, and I'd like to start that tomorrow. I'd like to get Steve Donahue Studios back into full swing, bring my script writers back on staff, find out what tarp is hiding my fairy lights, get it all back up and running. Uh, I can't do that right now, and I don't know if I'll be able to do that tomorrow. Uh, but I owe you so many videos. <laughs> we have a 12.8K uh, Q&A that we have to do. You all put in questions for that. I, I, I have them all collected. I just There has been no chance to make any kind of videos, much less long videos. I owe Michael K. Vaughn a comic book video. I have read-alongs with Matthew and, and uh, Jordan. Uh, and all sorts of booktube stuff coming up as well. Plus, it, 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 there might be booktube videos where I want to take a pot shot at somebody. I haven't been able to do any of that. Uh, I'm hoping that this process is now finally crested the hill and is on the downward slope. I'm hoping that's true. Uh, so I wanted to touch base. This is not an angry, resentful video, so this I can definitely upload. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to upload this, and thank you all uh, for helping me to get through this. I mean, there's my TARDIS, my little book room here, and there's my bean. But there's also all of you. And you know, <sighs> 10 years ago, there would have been a little book room. And 10 years ago, there would have been dogs on that bed. But there wouldn't have been you. That's new. And when you reach the age of 28, new things that are purely positive, they're kind of rare. They deserve all the praise they get. So thank you all very much <laughs> for helping me uh, to get through this. Uh, and for sending me your old tech. <laughs> that Nothing quite perks me up like getting old tech, especially since this is a perfect example of a success story. This is a piece of tech that was sitting in someone's closet. They weren't ever going to use it again because they have the new model, but this is perfectly fine. This is a, a perfectly fine device and a huge upgrade over the version of it that I had before, which I now need not even search for. Uh, so those, those things have been getting me through I wanted to make a video and, and sort of enumerate those. Uh, I'm going to post this. I'm not going to make any other videos. I'm not going to push my luck. But I'm going to try to make at least one video tomorrow. Somehow. A, a tag video, maybe. Or a couple of the videos that I'm that I'm owing uh, to other, you know, in collaboration with other booktubers. We'll see. I don't want to put, I don't want to put too much weight on a faint glimmer of hope. Uh, but... I wanted to check in. So I'll wrap this up uh, for now. Thank you again, all of you. 
uh, and I'll be back. Thank you, Booktube.